Okay, we'll get started now. Good afternoon and welcome everyone. My name is Lisa Demina. I am a senior buyer with the procurement department. This is the pre-proposal meeting for the request for proposals, RFP 2424791, Recovered Materials Processing Facility Services. This meeting has been publicly noticed and provisions have been made for any member of the public desiring to have access to attend this meeting. This is not a required meeting. This meeting is being recorded and the recording will be made available in Bonfire after the meeting has ended. Only a written addendum may change the proposal documents. Any statements or comments made by county staff at this meeting, which might appear to modify the proposal documents, shall be considered by proposals only as tentative position of the county. In order for these statements to be considered as an actual change to the solicitation, they must be published in a written addendum. Please be advised that the cone of silence is in effect. Proposers should not contact any county employees other than myself or those identified in the cone of silence clauses as set forth in the proposal document. Please be aware that questions will not be answered today. All questions must be submitted in writing through the bonfire portal. The deadline for questions will be 14 calendar days after this pre-proposal meeting per section 8.5 of the solicitation document. Please submit questions as early as possible so that we can provide responses in a timely manner. As a reminder, online proposals must be submitted through the bonfire portal by 2 p.m. on June 18, 2024 close date. The county participants today include members from the Solid Waste Management Department to discuss the project and the Economic Development Office. I will now turn the meeting over to Roy Rojas from the Economic Development Office. Thank you very much. Um, my name is Roy Rojas, Special Project Coordinator for the Minorities and Small Business Programs at Hillsborough County. Welcome everyone. As you may notice or know in the request for proposals, the county has a policy that certified disadvantaged minority, disadvantaged women business enterprises should have the maximum opportunities to participate in the county procurement programs. It is a business decision for those companies that decide to have 10% or more DMDWBE participation in the overall services or commodities being provided to the county can apply for bonus points to be added to its proposal evaluation score. Let's talk about bonus point system. Six points for those applicant firms that are already certified as a disadvantaged uh, minority business with Hillsborough County and had issued a signed letter of commitment certifying that a minimum of 10% of its ultimate fees will be subcontracted to an other certified DMDWPE firm, which is identified in the request for bonus points. For those firms that are not certified with us and that are not minority business certified, you can earn a total of five points the applicant firm has issued a signed letter of commitment certifying that a minimum of 10% of its ultimate fees will be subcontracted to certified DMDWBE firms, which are identified in the request for bonus points. We, uh, in our department, review both your letter of intent identifying the minority company you will be working with and a signed letter of intent for that certified firm um, on its letterhead starting its intent to perform the service and the scope of work. We accept 
firms certified with other agencies and provide a one-time six-month reciprocal certification with Hillsborough County, which is the perfect time for them to become certified with us. Where to find those firms is very simple. Go to our website, Hillsborough County, Florida, and uh, select doing business with us, and then uh, select minorities, women, and a small business. And finally, there is a, a button where you can select those firms that are graduated, denied, or that were given reciprocal in the past. If you see some of those firms there, you cannot use it in this um, request. Let's finalize my intervention talking about equal opportunity and affirmative action. Bonus points, you will receive one um, point. Uh, properly completed workforce distribution metrics indicating EEO categories and 0.5 points for equal employment opportunity policy statement signed and dated by chief operating officer. Plus 2.5 points for a complete affirmative, affirmative action plan. You can submit your own company equal opportunity affirmative action plan program or if you don't have one, you can ask to our main point of contact in procurement and you can use our template. Due to the cone of silence, we are not your first point of contact for this request for proposals, but you can contact us to talk about any certification question you might have. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roy. Um, I'll now turn the meeting over to Travis Barnes, Division Director of Sustainability and Disposal Operations, so that he can discuss this project. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, again, my name is Travis Barnes. The um, recycling programs fall under my division with the Solid Waste Department, and we appreciate everyone joining us today. So the Hillsborough County Solid Waste Management Department is seeking one contractor to accept, process, and market the collected single stream program materials and provide a recovered materials processing facility and services sure. as the county's contractor exactly. beginning November 1st, November 1st 2026. 20. Um, for a 15-year contract operating term with two uh, five-year renewal options available. The contractor shall have a designated facility, uh, recovered materials processing facility, if the designated facility is a transfer station, with new equipment as described in the RFP, capable of receiving county program materials and facility capacity for processing and marketing up to 6,500 tons of county program materials per month and up to 78,000 tons per year, eventually over the contract term, as our population continues to grow at a rapid pace. Over the past two fiscal years, we have collected approximately 63,300 tons a year from our county residents, and we have good participation in the curbside recycling program with approximately 67% of households placing their carts at the curb each week on average for collection. Uh, we recognize the substantial investment required to deliver the requested services, and we appreciate everyone's participation in this important procurement for the county. And just remind everyone about the uh, importance of the cone of silence. And uh, with that, we look forward to a smooth procurement. I'll turn it back over to Lisa. Thank you, Travis. Um, I want to thank everyone for participating today. We appreciate your time. Um, this will be the close of this uh, pre-proposal meeting. And just as a reminder, as I stated previously, this meeting is being recorded and the recording will be made available in Bonfire after the meeting has ended. Thank everyone again for their participation and hope everyone has a great day. Thank you, everyone.